Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back to another episode of Dean Sisters Arabic Lesson. Today we'll inshallah be discussing I'rabu al-fi'lul mudari, that is the declension of the present verb. In the Arabic language, the last letter of a word changes from dhamma to fatha to kasra or sukun, depending on the function of the word in the sentence and also the particles that precede it. The present verb can be in three cases, that is the marfu carrying a dhamma at the end, the mansub carrying a fatha at the end, or majzun carrying a sukun at the end. The present verb is originally in the marfu form. For example, ila aina satadhabu ya bunai, where are you going my son? Tadhabu here is our present verb, it is carrying a dhamma at the end. Another example, saadhabu li ziyarati asdiqai. Adhabu here is our present verb, also in the marufu form, carrying adhamma. When we talk about the mansub form, the case ending of the last letter changes from dhamma to fatha. This can be found in a number of cases, however, we'll only be discussing two. The first is when the present verb is preceded by the negative len, that is len and knife here. This negates the occurring of the present verb in the future. For example, Evil will never prevail over good. Yantasira here is our present verb. It is in the mansub form, carrying a fatha at the end. Another example is We will not go out of the house. Nakhruja here is our present verb, also in the mansub form, carrying a fatha at the end. The second case is when the present verb is preceded by an. For example, when we say, Uridu an Aisha fi Misra. I want to live in Egypt. Aisha is our present verb, also in the mansub form. Another example, Uridu an Adrus al Lugat al Arabiya. I want to study the Arabic language. Adrusa here is our present verb, also in the mansub form. When we talk about the majzum form, the case ending of the last letter changes from Dhamma to Sukun. This can be found when the present verb is preceded by lam and nafia, that is the negative lam. This negates the action of the present verb in the past. For example, when we say lam yadrus Ali lugat al arabiya fi Misr. Ali did not study the Arabic language in Egypt. Yadrus here is our present verb in the majzum form that is carrying a sukun at the end. Another example, Lam Yushahid Ahmadu Tilfaz al Ahmad did not watch the television today. Yushahid is our present verb in the majzum form, carrying a sukun. Another case where we find the majzum is when the present verb is preceded by the prohibitive la, that is la and nahia. This negates the action of the present verb, but it is specifically for the second person pronoun. For example, La Ta'kul Da'ama Shari Ya Sa'id. Do not eat the street food, Said. Ta'kul here is our present verb. It is in the majzum form. La tuhmil amalak. Do not neglect your work. Tuhmil is our present verb and it is also in the majzum form. Karina sukun. Alhamdulillah, this brings us to the end of today's lesson. Fi amanillah, see you next time, inshallah.